Hey, Flight Junkies, thanks for joining me. Hey, I recently got a question from a guy, and he says, you know, uh, a lot of people are selling a lot of different wings, and I noticed that you sell the Power Atlas and the Air Design Easy Glider, and, and uh, what's the difference in all the wings? Well, there's a lot of great wings on the market. There's a lot of crappy ones out there. Some of them are like trying to get a tarp above your head. Now, I, the two wings that I sell, well, I sell a couple different wings, uh, two of them from, from Air Design. I sell the uh, Air Design Easy Glider, and I sell the Air Design Ramaflex, which is a reflex technology wing. But I also sell the Power Atlas. The Power Atlas and the Air Design Easy Glider are both beginner to intermediate glider wings. Now, don't be fooled by that. Uh, a lot of people think just because you go into a beginner wing that you're going to outgrow it. Uh, a beginner to intermediate glider, you can do all the same things on a beginner to intermediate glider that you're going to do on any other glider as well. Uh, so a lot of people, you know, a lot of wing manufacturers have to try to say, oh, you need this one and you need this one. They're basically just trying to sell you another wing. Most wings sell for the high, maybe around 3500 on up to 4000 some even more expensive. I'm actually delivering the Power Atlas and my Air Design Easy Glider since I do so much volume. I'm actually delivering it at $2,500 at the current sale price uh, with the package. And, uh, man, that's a heck of a savings. That's a wing. When you go into a beginner to intermediate glider, you're going into safety. You're into a wing that if you ever had a collapse, first of all, let me say on that, I've never had a collapse on a glider because I don't fly in bad weather and I don't do aerobatics beyond my skill level. And those are the two big reasons you're going to have them. But if you ever had a collapse on a beginner to intermediate glider, they will reinflate virtually with no pilot input in, in, in faster than you even knew that you had one. Uh, why you wouldn't want to fly something like that, I don't know. It's got easy to understand risers, there's not hooks and loops and balls and whistles and can't fly it in this mode if you have it in this mode and pull this string over here. Look at these risers. Super easy, they come with trimmers, everything's color coordinated, everything works real good. But you can still do full blown piss in your pants aerobatics with a beginner wing. Uh, and, and quite honestly, it's, uh, it's the Indian, not the arrow. Uh, when, you, when, you're, when you're a good pilot, you can take any wing, even a beginner wing, and make it launch. Uh, you, could make it, uh, you can do full-blown aerobatics in it. So if you were going to compete, yes, then you would go to a sportier wing. You'd want to go to something a little more high-performance, like a Ramaflex. Now, I've recently uh, uh, had, I saw a blog from one of my competitors and a guy that really can't stand me. His name's Jeff Cohen. Uh, and I saw him write this little blog bashing on the Power Atlas. Well, first of all, he doesn't understand. This wing's been redesigned about five times now. They don't get rid of it. They changed the cut and profile. They put in mylar stiffeners. They changed the way that it's being uh, flown. Uh, the Adele company uh, is downsized to almost out of business, but somebody else took it over now, and they're still making this wing, thank God, because I love it. It's probably the most stable wing I've ever flown. This and the Air Design, both extremely easy launching wings. But Jeff doesn't like me very much, and, and a few other dealers that are a bunch of whiners out there because we do train free of charge, and that ruffles a lot of feathers. They want to get that 2500 bucks out of you, so they don't like me out there. They definitely don't want you to know the difference in their equipment. They just want to show you their studio quality photos of their stuff and their studio quality of videos. But if you get to my website and go on the front page of my website, You'll see a video called Powered Paraglider Scam Warnings Equipment. There's an hour-long video there that'll show you everything that doesn't come on the other brands. They definitely don't want you to watch that, and they definitely didn't want you to find out about free training. But we're at 1,125 students with a flawless safety record, and one of the reasons is because I sell quality equipment and I give unlimited free training. I just wanted to kite this wing for a second. We got a couple mile an hour breeze here, and I wanted to show you how easy the Power Atlas works. And so, Jeff, if you're out there whining and throwing a little tantrum about this wing or just trying to disrupt uh, sales because you're all mad about the USPPA scam you're running, hey, this one's for you, buddy. We're just going to grab the A's here, pull it straight up. With even a little bit of breeze, the wing comes straight up. And I'm telling you, it steers good, it launches easy. Uh, check it out. Look it out. Look at this. Just a little bit of little bit of breeze keeps it up there. It's not hard to steer it. It's not hard to control it. It's not overcorrected. It'll give you baby soft landings, quick takeoffs, and it's just a good all-around stable wing. And it launches extremely easy. Come on back in here for a second.
This is by far one of the easiest wings I've ever launched. So when people are out there whining and my competitors are trying to tell you, oh, that's an outdated wing, update them on, uh, on the truth of the wing is it's been redesigned about five times. And even just a little puff of air keeps that wing. Look at that wing. Unbelievably stable. We're going to bring it down right now. And uh, if, you can't, if you can't launch this wing, Jeff, you need to take some lessons. Come on in. I'm happy to train you as well. But I uh, hope that has shed some light on the situation. And again, if you do want a more high-performance wing, that's not a problem. We sell the Rommelflex very quick, very nimble, uh, quicker turns, and it's more state-of-the-art uh, reflex technology. But man, for having fun and being safe, the Power Atlas and the Air Design Easy Glider are two top-notch wings. I fly them about 90% of the time, and uh, that's what I would fly. Again, if I was flying in aerobatic championships, I would go to a faster wing and a sportier wing. But you got to ask yourself, what do you want your wing to do? If you get a wing from us, right now these are $2,500 delivered, stuff sacks included, and unlimited training. So you buy a wing somewhere else for $3,700, tell them you want unlimited training with that as well. See what they say. Thank you for joining me. I'm Captain Kurt.